What is up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the uses for labels and collisions. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. And if I said I'll share at the top, feel free to come into the stream if you want me to test out one of your creations, see one of your creations, see your art, hear your music, or anything else. So combining an impact sensor with collisions and this hitbox, this right here is the hitbox for your character. If you didn't know, you can actually change this to match your character accordingly. You can actually make collisions for your character. Labels can also make it to where you can, the objects recognize the collision and it also makes it to where certain gadgets actually recognize when things happen. Within this right here, there's an actual sensor to show whenever it's detected, it'll say whenever the puppet or sculpture detect, recognizes that it's detected by a gadget of some sort or anything else. So what is all this for? Well, you could use the impact sensor to make it to where whenever it's touching something that it loses health with the health manager. Usually you have to connect the impact sensor to the object up at the top accordingly. So that way it recognizes and sends impacts. You might just be able to do this by putting it into the gadget itself of a microchip and you press L1 and square to open up the puppet menu as well as sculpture menu. So after doing all that, you can go to the labels right here and actually show what this is. This right here pretty much says what this is. You can label foes, foes. This pretty much makes it to where you don't have to like always make it to where you have to make logic for when your character should lose HP because if it knows, if the impact sensor knows that a foe is supposed to make your character lose HP, then you really only have to do this once and then you can use a variable of some site to pretty much make it to where if it's a harder enemy, then you lose more HP. And that's pretty much what this is for. That's pretty much what this is for. It's for organizing as well as showing when your character is hitting a wall and should take damage and whatnot. So here's how you can do all this. First, make sure everything that, make sure the thing that says it's collidable is on, make sure it's movable if you need it to move. And if you want it to pass through an object, what you would do is make sure that it collides with nothing. Right now, the wall is sensing that it should collide with a friend because this right here is also labeled friend. So, Collides with friend. Collides with friend. So you have to make sure both things, both know that it shouldn't collide with it. Otherwise this will try colliding with that or that will try colliding with that. So make sure the collide settings are the same for both things. If you don't want it to collide with anything, you can just press this. Sometimes when you do that and you're in this mode right here, it won't fall. And sometimes it's just because it doesn't have a label. I'm not sure if that's a glitch of some sort of in all honesty, but that's pretty much it for labels and collisions. Labels and collisions. So this right here is how you can make it to where your character will lose health accordingly. And you can do a whole bunch of other stuff. Other gadgets actually have labels too, to where you can actually do this kind of thing also. Now, if you, if your thing has no labels, like if my puppet has no labels, then it takes the default label of unlabeled. This should be, for the most part, all you need to know about labels and collisions in Dreams PS4, what it collides with, how to turn it off, and how to make a hitbox. How to make things movable, how to make things visible. You can just mess with the settings from here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and peace out.